I laughed so hard when I saw <laughs> the name of this. First off, it's absolutely beautiful because it's a part of that petrified wood, so I can't wait to hear the story. But when I saw the name Swamp Bog, I said, oh, Jay's gonna have a wonderful story for us here. This is a brand new on the day today. How exciting because we are highlighting this not only in the necklace, we have the full suite, we have matching earrings, and then we have a matching cuff bracelet. But I have to bring Jay on in. Jay, swamp bog petrified wood. <laughs> I said only Jay King, but I, I know what you're gonna say. You say when you find these rare finds, you normally go with whatever, whoever, you know, the miner was or whoever found it, what they call it. Is that the same thing here in this case? Yeah, you know what this has got going on? I, um, if you look at these designs, okay, these are all what we call gallery. It's part of our gallery collection. I mean, this, you would, I mean, these um, literally <laughs> are things that you would find normally in an artist gallery. Uh, it's kind of like what we do. I love the designs. So let me just uh, go with that first. Gorgeous. And then we went with this material. This is actually a petrified wood. And I know Swamp Bug. And this came from a private collection. Um, this, this is actually petrified wood. And that's Petrified National uh, Monument. Um, they actually searched my truck when I left there. <laughs> Because <laughs> it's illegal to, you know, to, to take any petrified wood, especially off the, a national site. Um, but this material, this swamp bog material, and that's, it came from a private collection and it came from a, a lovely uh, gentleman. His name was Phil Johnson. And this was in his private collection. This material was collected. These are all from the, all, the, all of his uh, petrified woods. That's what he specialized in. They all were collected in the United States. Uh, the majority of these if, if they were collected on private um, ranches in, um, in between the late 60s, early 70s, and then progressively he did, um, you, know, uh, you know, later on in the, in the late 70s, uh, early 80s, you were still able to collect um, materials, but um, then, you know, they, they, did, they uh, outlawed it. They, they made it to where you couldn't take it unless you took it off of, off of a private property and had permission to do it. This actually, and this is why, he, you know, I said, Phil, seriously? Swamp bog? Seriously? <laughs> <laughs> it just makes and me said, laugh saying it. Well, and I, you know, I, I said, you know, Phil, why? Why? He goes, well, he goes because it's petrified. It's a, it came out of a petrified swamp. And actually, the colors in this that you see, okay, that's from the, the chlorophyll and all the different, you know, uh, all the different materials that leached that made this. This is literally 30 to 50 million years old. Now, here's the irony of this. And this is, uh, and it's, you know, the, the history of this. This was uh, found in Nevada is where um, Phil got this. He got out off a private ranch in Nevada. Okay. Now, I don't know if any of you guys have been to Nevada lately, but you don't see a lot of swamps, guys, right? <laughs> That's true. <laughs> I would this, say more desert life. <laughs> yes, so this just tells you, you know, before uh, the polar ice caps were formed, 30 to 50 million years ago, if you think about this, um, Nevada, was underwater and well, you know, and it was a swamp. So think about that, how crazy that is. And you know, you're getting such a unique material and now this is petrified and it's petrified wood. But in this case, it was actually uh, the matter, the, 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 the material, the swampy material um, that actually uh, petrified. This is the only time I've ever seen this material, by the way. I have never seen this from anybody else. I've never seen it any el anywhere else in the world. Um, as far as I know, Phil's the only one. He was the only source for this material. And uh, when he, Phil, you know, um, I have to tell you, this, this man, uh, he, I, I've, he probably forgot more 
about not only petrified wood, but other uh, gemstones than I'll ever know in my lifetime. This, this man was an encyclopedia. It was amazing. I learned so much from him. And he specialized, though, in petrified woods. And it was incredible. I mean, what, a, what an education that I received from him. He was a wonderful man. And we were honored that when he decided to retire, uh, he came to us and said, of all the people we, I would like, to give you first shot at buying my private collection. Wow. And a lot of these uh, these materials that we got from, we're almost done with the whole collection now. I mean, this won't go on forever and ever. We're running out of material as we speak. Well, Jay, but, I don't um, recall seeing this color before. I know we've had other petrified wood, um, right. more but like on the neutrals and, and, and tans and browns. I love the sea foams and the greens and the golds. Quick update, um, this is brand new. I have now dozens. I mean, this wasn't, you said, once this is gone, we're not gonna be seeing a lot of it. I have just a few dozen left in the necklace, in the cuff bracelet, as well as in the matching earrings. Our collectors wait for specialty pieces like this, Jay. Yeah, and th these are part of the gallery collection, okay? Yeah. So they're already limited when we make them. Look at these designs. Is this a cool design or what? I mean, it just is so rich. It's so amazing. And then uh, the material um, is, again, it's an exclusive. It's something you just don't even see on the market. I, I have to tell you, you know, like if you go to Tucson in, in February, when we go to the Tucson Gem and Mineral Show, this is the largest gem and mineral show in the entire world. To my knowledge, and I'm not saying that I went to every nook and cranny, there might be somebody that has a specimen or something, but you just don't see this material. It's just not out there. Like I said, it came from his private collection. And how fortunate are we that we have that connection through you and then your amazing hand, your, your craftsmen that create these gallery gorgeous pieces just outdid themselves in this collection. Okay, we'll keep you updated on availability. Very, very, very special. Anything in gallery or boutique or with a rare story like the Swamp Bog that you just told us, we don't bring in uh, many of those pieces. It's just impossible.